And here we go! Alright, ready! Oh! Yeah! Get those points! Ah. Alright, we'll go for the next one! Nice! Get it! It's like a pinata! Hey! Welcome back to an all new episode of Complex. Today we have ourselves a T1 by Booster Robotics. A little humanoid robot that features 23 degrees of freedom and I have to say it is actually quite impressive. This particular robot can do a lot from push-ups to dancing, you name it, it can do just about anything. Now together we'll be going and trying it out as well as testing out and seeing exactly what it can do. And with that said, just go ahead and rewind and unbox this guy. Now guys, this is the packaging, this is the crate that it comes in. Now overall, it is a really big box. In fact, it's probably one of the more heavier boxes I've reviewed in a very long time. Pretty nice quality case. Does come with handlebars on both sides to go ahead and lift it up. And it also comes with this little bar here to go ahead and transport it around. All right, so you have these two locking mechanisms. Go ahead and open it up like this. And then it'll go ahead and lift up. Oh, wow. All right, so there's actually a lot going on. Uh, so one thing to note right off the back is that there is a built-in stand in here. So this does come with its own stand, so you can go ahead and transport this robot around uh, once it's actually out of the box. So that makes things significantly easier. Now, we do have a controller, which I have to say, this looks quite familiar. <laughs> Yeah, obviously we're not doing anything underwater with this, but it is pretty cool to see. Almost like, uh, yeah. Anyways, moving on. Uh, we have ourselves another controller. So this is kind of neat too. So this particular controller here is almost like a kill switch. So the nice thing about this particular robot is it does have its own kill switch, both on the robot physically and a remote with it. So if something does happen, you simply hit that button and it'll automatically shut it off and just go limp. And that's actually kind of nice because it does give you a little bit more control over the robot than rather than using a simple gesture or a simple command key. Now over here we'll find our battery as well as our charger. Build our stand. We have all the pieces here which we'll be taking out. Some more pieces for our stand. Some wheels. I think that's it in terms of accessories goes. All right, and then obviously we have our robot in here, so let's take this guy out. All right, uh, they always make this so awkward to take out. Um, all right, let's see here. Pretty cool, definitely a nice size robot. Uh, a little bit smaller than uh, some of the other ones that we've previously seen, including the G1. But this one's actually a pretty good size. It's the fact that it has a lot of movement to it, uh, making it a little bit more convenient to use. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a stand next and prop this guy up. A few moments later. So our stand is finally built. It's literally just a computer chair without the computer chair. But anyways, it's like a U bracket and I'm guessing the bottom of that just kind of sits right on there. And the nice thing about this robot is it does have a handle on the back so it does make it a little bit easier to carry. So there we are, our guys on here now. So if we have to transport them, we could. It just makes it a little bit more easier to move them about rather than having to physically pick them up and kind of put them everywhere. <laughs> So I do like that it does come with a stand. It makes it a lot more easier in terms of transporting it and obviously being able to go and display it. So you can just go ahead and have them like model like this. There we go. Ah. Now when we're looking at it from top to bottom, uh, let's take a closer look. All right, so moving on with the head first. So it does have its own built-in voice module which features six microphone arrays plus speakers. Also features a vision module, which features a depth camera, as well as a LiDAR, which is also optional. Now, you can see over here that the head has two degrees of freedom, so it can go ahead and move up and down, as well as left and right. Now, the single arm degrees of freedom is four, which is also extensible. So it does have a port here on the bottom of the hands to go ahead and expand on that, if you do decide to do that. Now, it also features a computing power of 200 TOPS AI performance, 
with a battery life of 1.5 hours at walking. A waist degree freedom of one, where it can go ahead and move left and right, as well as the single leg degree freedom of six. So it does give you a good amount of movement. Back side here, you'll notice that it does have an emergency stop button, power button, as well as the ethernet port where you can go ahead and connect to it. Now the handle on the back is actually convenient to use. Uh, with the previous G1 that we reviewed, it is a bit of an issue where your fingers do get trapped. So this here is gonna be our battery, pretty hefty size. It does have a battery light indicator right over there showing how much battery life it is in it. Um, but other than that, it's actually pretty simple. Now it does have its own separate charger that it comes with. So this is actually a unique charger because it has its own little locking mechanism that'll actually go right into it. This here is a 54.6 volt output. So yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on our robot. First thing we're gonna do is take our battery and insert it into the battery slot. It'll click in there. And from there, you can go ahead and hit the power button. You'll hear the fan kick on. And now the robot is going into its boot up process. Okay, so you have this remote here as well. Uh, so this is showing us our robot here. It says it's on and has a battery life of 89% right now. Uh, again, it has a kill switch as well. So you can go ahead and hit that. And I'll go ahead and enable it. So let's get into our ready status. Hit R, T, and Y. This will automatically put the robot in ready mode. Now, in other words, we can go and take the robot off the stand. Okay, so to go ahead and put him into walking mode, all we have to do is hit R, T, and A. You'll see the robot kind of shake. <laughs> uh, that's completely normal. That just means now it's in balancing mode where it'll go ahead and walk around. Anyway, so I can go ahead and rotate the robot using the right joystick. So the full, full rotational, non-stop. I can rotate it the other way. I can use the left joystick here to move it forward, backwards. And then I can also have it uh, pivot right and then pivot left. So all in all, pretty simple concept, controlling it as a typical RC, as I like to say it. Now, obviously the robot has other capabilities, so you can also move its head by using the left analog. So you can see here, up, down, and then left, right. And then, you know, just kind of move it about just like that. So it does give you that full range of motion. Now, uh, if you hit B, it'll go ahead and wave, just like this. So very standard with most robots. And then it can also shake by holding A. So you can just shake it like this. And then put it back down. And that's about it in terms of the basic movements. Now, they did send us some extra movements as well that you can download. So the next thing I'm going to do is show uh, like a push-up. So we're going to go back into our RTY. So this is, again, the stand standby mode. Think of it that way, where I can go ahead and pick up the robot and move them about. Now, uh, I can go back into RTA, back into our movement mode. So you can see that if I try lifting him up, he'll try correcting himself. Again, with that capability, you just want to exercise caution, making sure that it's always in that standby mode or the dampening mode to make sure that it's going to go ahead and be in a ready state. So again, you can also push this robot too. So if you push him, you'll see that he will correct his balance. So, <laughs> pretty interesting. All right, so anyways, uh, I'm gonna go back to RTY. RTA, RTY, and then I wanna show a push-up. So if I do an LT and left. So you can see that now, it's going in its own push-up mode. So it'll kinda go down to the ground, and then it'll go ahead and bring out its legs. One, two, three, and four, and ah, uh, oh. <laughs> So, now that he's on the ground, uh, you hit uh, LT and right. Okay. There we are. And you can see how it kind of like pivots itself back up. Um, and then we also have some other functions as well. So for instance, this here is a boxing mode. So I'm gonna bring the roll back, back just a little bit here. Go into our next mode, so this. So this here is a boxing mode. You can see him punching. So that's a nice little combo. We'll be using this in our actual robot boxing match, reenacting essentially real steel. So if you guys do like that, be sure to hit subscribe and then uh, stay tuned as that's coming really soon. So let's see that combo one more time, man. So here you go and left, right, left, uppercut. <laughs> that's so cool. So this here's a dance. You can see him do it. Do like a little of this. Oh, okay, raise the roof. Raise the roof. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna roll.
that's it. So yeah, that's a little dance that they have also included with the robot. Pretty cool, something small, uh, but just stuff, something kind of showcasing what this robot is capable of doing. But for our next test here, I'll be showing the box mode. So the robot has the capability to go ahead and grab boxes as well as carry them. Let's try it out. Okay, so we're gonna bring out our hands. Grab onto this box. So there you are, so it's actually grabbed onto it and now we can have it walk around. And then we can have it release the box. Just like that. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it has the capability to go ahead and carry things, which is great. Uh, not much weight, probably five pounds, I would say the max, but uh, it is kind of interesting to see that this robot does have the capability to do that. Obviously, if it had hands, it'd probably be a little bit more easier. It's got these balls, it's like, arms, but you can see right over here that there are attachments to go ahead and remove the hands. And then technically you can go ahead and upgrade this robot later as it does have ports here to go ahead and attach additional accessories. But for this test here, we'll be making our own Super Mario level for T1. <laughs> wearing his Mario hat ready for his epic adventure in our really ghetto Mario level. But anyway, so the whole point of this is to go and see if you can hit both cubes and essentially finish the level, which is just this little mat. But I mean, it's something cool, right? So it should be fun, should be exciting. I mean, ultimately you just gotta kind of like run and boop, and then boop. Uh, he doesn't actually jump, but you get the picture. Let's have fun. Okay, so we are now in ready mode. All right, T1, you ready for your epic Mario adventure? All right, <laughs> let's do this. And here we go. All right, ready. Oh. Yeah. Get those points. Ah. All right, we'll go for the next one. Nice. So now I know the next thing you guys want to see is the stability test. Can this robot actually take a punch? Well, let's find out. All right, ready? Come on. Oh, man, this thing can take a punch. Holy crap, I'm hitting it hard. definitely take a beating that that is a fact <laughs> awesome man found it uh. <laughs> all right well there you guys have it this here is t1 by booster robotics definitely a really cool robot the nun must say now with that said if you guys have any questions about t1 comment down below otherwise we'll see you in the next video take care now bye bye